comes up in the hall and wherever you are, if you had a good Christmas. Yep. Bro, I had a good Christmas as well. Hands down again. Hands up if you're pleased that you're back at school. Brilliant. All hands up. Mine hands up included. Now, for our collective worship, we're going to be thinking about Chris Stingles. And you've all been very crafty in the best sense of the word and have made some beautiful Chris Stingles. I can see them here in the hall, which look fabulous. And here's a Chris Stingle that carried St Mary's Church, made for us many, many years ago. It's quite a big model of a Chris Stingle. But you know, because we're quite distanced in the hall, and because there's folk watching online as well, I think we need a bigger Chris Stingle. I'll get to that in a moment, but first of all, let me tell you a little bit about Chris Stingles. First of all, it's a very strange word. What does Christingle mean? Well, it comes from a German word which means little Christ child. And of course, Christingles are made and shown at this time of year that's called Epiphany time, or they can be made and shown at Christmas or just before Christmas at Advent. And they were made, first of all, nearly 300 odd years ago in 1747 in Germany and they were the invention of a Bishop Watville. Now Bishop Watville ran a church in his village and he wanted to show children in the village just how much God loved them. And he thought what gift can I give the children of the village so that they can know how much God loves them. And so he designed the very first Christingles. And that's what we're going to think about today. Now, as I said, this Christingle here is very big, but it's not big enough. I need, please, a member of staff to be our volunteer to be an even bigger Christingle for us today. Now, now Miss Gordon's looking... Uh, <laughs> In every direction except at me. <laughs> Here's your big moment of fame. Let's give Miss Gordon a round of applause. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you so much for volunteering to be our Christingle. Now, the first thing a Christingle is made from is something big, something round, and something orange. Now, Let's see if we can make up our big orange. Here we go. Can you pop this on this corner to be our big crystal orange? There you go, brilliant. Now, the big round orange, not that you're big nor round, Miss Gordon, of course, represents the world because that is big and round. And so Chris Dingle, first of all, reminds us that God made the whole world. Now, the second bit of our Chris Dingle is the red ribbon that goes around the middle. And you've got the red ribbon too. I wonder, can you help us to put this around Chris Dingle? Can you help us? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. You get one then. There we go. So we're going to tie the big brown ribbon around this Gordon. There we go. And the ribbon reminds us that God so loves the world that he kind of holds his arms, hugging the world in his love. And it's red as well, which reminds us of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. It's the same colour as blood. So we have our world that God made and we have our ribbon which reminds us of how much God loves the world. But there's more on our Christine. I'm looking at that model there. There's four sticks in our Christine. Now, I think it would be very cruel of me to stick four sticks into Miss Gordon, but I am going to ask Miss Gordon to hold four of these fishing nets, two in each hand. There we go. To represent those four sticks. Now, if you know your geography, 
you will know that there's four parts of the world. There's all the way to the north. Can you point to the north up in the sky? There's all the way to the south. Point down below. There's all the way to the west to one side. And all the way to the east. So those four sticks remind us of those four corners of the world. They also remind us of the four seasons. Count them with me. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. There we go. So we have our world, the big round orange. We have the ribbon hugging the orange because God so loves the world. And we have the four seasons and the four corners of the world represented. Now, you will see from our big model crystal, and you will know from your own crystals that you've made, that on those four sticks, we put lovely rays and lids. And we've put lovely sweets on those sticks as well. And they remind us, friends, of the good thing that the world gives us, like fruits to eat and the things that we make from them, like lovely sweets as well. So there we go. We've got a big round orange, the world. The ribbon around the world reminding us of God's hugging the world, giving the world a love. And we've got the four sticks for the four seasons and the four corners of the world. And we've got those wonderful fruits of creation. The things that come from the world that we enjoy. There is one thing left on our Christine. It sits right at the top. And it's a candle. Now. Now, I don't want to stick a candle in Miss Gordon's set, and I certainly don't want to light it. That would be very silly, very dangerous. So I've got this. reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. God's Son sent to get rid of all the darkness that can be in the world and all the darkness that at times can be inside of us as well. And that's our Christingle. So let's go through all those lovely symbols again. So we have our big round orange which represents the world that God made. We have the red ribbon that represents God hugging the world that he made because he loves it so much. And it reminds us of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross because the ribbon is the same colour as blood. We have those four sticks, which reminds us of north, south, east and west, and spring, summer, autumn, winter. And we have those wonderful gifts, those good gifts of fruits that the world gives us to enjoy and to make sweets out of as well. And then very finally, right at the top of our Christingle, we have that light of Christ, representing Jesus, God's Son, getting rid of all the darkness. You've all done so well making your Christingles, I think you need to give yourselves a big pat on the back. I think we need to give Miss Gordon a round of applause. Shines 
So we're going to sing a, a song about light and about shining. So in the hall, or wherever you're watching, I want you to imagine that you're holding a tea light in your hand. Hold your hand out so you're holding a tea light in your, in your hand. And we're going to sing this little light of mine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. So if we hold our hands out for tea lights, and when we talk about let it shine, we're going to do that, letting that light shine. Okay, so I'm going to sing it, then I want you to join in afterwards. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, you were brilliant, let's do it again. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Well done. Well, we're gonna finish with a prayer now. And I don't know if you can remember from before Christmas, but we're gonna do my slightly silly way of praying. It's all right to be a bit silly every now and again. Let's put one hand in the air, two hands in the air, check if you showered. I think I could have done better. One with my God's listening, so we're going to pray. And at the end of the prayer, I'm going to say that special word, Amen, which means I agree, or so be it. And if you agree with my prayer, at the end I want you to say Amen as well. Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for this time of year. Thank you for the gifts that we share and receive. Thank you above all for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, the one who comes to shine in the midst of the darkness. Thank you for this Christingle Collective worship and all that we've learnt about the world and each other and how much you love the world and how much you love Thank you for bringing us back to school this new year. Thank you for keeping us safe. Be with us now, Lord, and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves another clap on the, another clap on the back. And a big round of applause.